If you are a young professional contemplating a move to Austin, Texas, we can imagine it's quite overwhelming and possibly a little bit daunting. So we thought in this video, we would rank the best places in the greater Austin area for young professionals to plant their roots. And hopefully by the end of the video, we'll have helped you arrive at your own conclusion as to what is right for you. If that's the reason you clicked on the video, stay tuned. Hey again, everybody. This is Frank with the team of agents at JB Goodwin Realtors. Every week we put out tons of new content about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and ring the little bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. In addition to that, we love the reach outs we get now all the time from people just like you in need of our help relocating to Austin, Texas. So don't hesitate, don't be shy. Whether you're nine days away or 90, go ahead and shoot our team a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day. So yes, as mentioned, in this video, we are going over the 10 best places to live in the greater Austin area for young professionals. And we are going to be ranking them 10 to one. And ultimately it is subjective, the ranking. I wouldn't take the order of them quite seriously, but just to give you a good enough idea of what to expect. Another disclaimer is this is not necessarily going to be the most affordable places to live in the greater Austin area, since we've already made a video titled the most affordable places to live in Austin, Texas, but rather this one is going to be a bit of a mix of different criteria. You're going to see a variety of different budgets of different aesthetics and vibes, things to do and distance from downtown. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Starting off at number 10, we've got Liberty Hill, Texas. And what I like about Liberty Hill, Texas is that it's pretty laid back. It's going to be one of the more rural options on this list. So you're gonna have your hiking, you're gonna have your different parks. There's even horseback riding and rest assured, it's not like a hick town. So you do have different sports bars and places that have some live music or great foodie spots. And it's also very well known for its big lots as well. So if you have deep pockets and you're wanting acres on acres, you can find that closer to a million dollars. Or maybe if you're a first time buyer and you're wanting to get in, rest assured you are going to have options that are beneath the median of $550,000. So another thing about Liberty Hill is a little bit of a drawback since I do keep it honest on this channel. You're looking at about 45 to maybe 50 minutes, depending on traffic, of distance from Liberty Hill to downtown Austin. So a little bit of a hiccup, especially of course, if you are going to be commuting downtown as well. So just something to keep in mind, you might mind that distance or it might be not enough to phase you, just depends on who you are. But Liberty Hill, Texas is something to at least keep your eye on if that flavor of life appeals to you. Shifting gears, we're gonna move along to number nine on this list, and that's going to be Lockhart, Texas. So in this case, we're going to go south of Austin, Texas. And if you know where San Marcos is on the map, at least, this is going to be south of downtown Austin. Now, what I like about Lockhart, Texas is that it's not super duper developed yet, and you're only going to be between 30 and 40 minutes from downtown Austin if you're wanting to do your playing in downtown Austin. Another cool thing about Lockhart, Texas is that it is young in the sense of its vibe and its aesthetic. So you're going to have thrift stores, you're going to have huge barbecue scene there as well. And due to its proximity to San Marcos and downtown Austin, you are going to have just more things to do on average on a daily basis than say the Liberty Hills of the world. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Lastly, on the subject of Lockhart, I'll mention its median home price of $315,000, which for me is staggering because the Georgetowns of the world, the Cedar Parks of the world, the Liberty hills of the world, a lot of these places that are great destinations for people relocating to Austin, Texas are going to be easily around half a million dollars. So when you see a number like 315 and you're close enough to the city and it's got things to do, as a young professional, that can be quite enticing. Moving right along once again, zooming through this list so that we don't have an hour long video on our hands. At number eight, we have Georgetown, Texas. Now Georgetown, Texas is, in my opinion, a gem and it was controversial in my mind, at least to, to put it on this list of places for young professionals, because the truth of the matter is a lot of the demographic in Georgetown, Texas is going to be a bit more mature. I think it's meeting is going to be into the mid forties, maybe closer to fifties on average. But what I like about Georgetown, Texas is that it's very laid back and very quaint, very charming. There aren't a lot of places surrounding Austin, Texas that maintain quite the feel that Georgetown does. 
And what I like about Georgetown is that it has this amazing downtown area. You're going to have different festivals. You're going to have a lot of things to do, nature-based, lots of parks, waterfalls, places to swim. You're going to have Lake Georgetown as well if you want to take out a boat or jet skis. So you have a lot of amenities and it is established enough with about 90,000 people as its population so that you're not bored every single day. Another thing about Georgetown, Texas is that despite it being a more mature place on average in terms of its demographic, what we're seeing slowly but surely is that a lot of people are choosing Georgetown that are relocating here from out of state, which is making it younger. And now it's starting to have a bit more vibrance and life in its community and, and you're starting to see young professionals walking the streets of downtown Georgetown, kind of not claiming it as their own, but deciding, you know what, this is a place we wanna set our roots and really create a life here. So what I will say about Georgetown, Texas is that it does have a median home price of right around $450,000. And something that's working against Georgetown is the fact that it's on average between 45 minutes to an hour from downtown Austin, Texas. So again, if you are a commuter, if I'm speaking to someone who's going to be working say out of corporate downtown, that's going to be a bit of a headache. Obviously not impossible. People do that commute all the time here, but it does depend on if that's your preference, if you don't mind it, if you do mind it. So just something to keep in mind. But for young professionals, just keep an eye on Georgetown. It's really starting to become a bit more trendy, a bit more popular, not pretentious, hopefully not soon, but a nice place to consider planning your roots. Up next at number seven, we've got Bastrop, Texas. And I actually feel a little bit bad for Bastrop oftentimes because when you look at the map, it looks like it's so far away from Austin, Texas. But in reality, you're only looking at about 30 to 40 minutes from the city. And keep your eye out for Bastrop as well because with all of these new factories coming like Tesla and, and the Samsung factory that's $17 billion, a lot of people are going to be looking at nearby suburbs for these factories as the influx of jobs hits Austin, Texas. And I anticipate, you know, with my little crystal ball that in the next five to 10 years, we're going to see Bastrop dramatically change over the coming years and evolve to match a lot of the influx of people coming here. But as it currently stands, Bastrop is charming as well. It's very much like Georgetown, Texas, which is why I put it at seven and Georgetown at eight, because it's kind of like its own younger, different version of Georgetown in terms of things to do, in terms of your scenery. It's going to have great food. There's lots of space with the homes as well. It's a very active lifestyle. So it's a great fit for a lot of young professionals. And on that note, as opposed to Georgetown, which is sitting at right around $450,000 for its median home price, Bastrop is right around $400,000 for its median home price and a little bit closer to the city on average, which again is why I put it ahead of Georgetown on this list. Up next at number six in this fast paced video is going to be Elgin, Texas. Now, Elgin, Texas, again, is going to be a place that is a little bit underappreciated or dare I say, a little bit underrated. So it's going to be a little bit close to Maynard, Texas which is a little bit east of the city. You're going to be about 30 to 40 minutes living in Elgin from downtown Austin as well. But what's cool about Elgin, Texas is that it has a median home price of $325,000. Now, this might reflect the fact that Elgin isn't super duper established, but as it currently stands, you've got bars in Elgin, you've got great food, you've even got a flea market. And in places like Elgin, in places like Maynard, in places like Hutto, these up and coming places that aren't super established yet, you're going to have a decent amount of inventory for new construction as well. So if you're in the market for pre-owned or if you prefer new build, you're going to have an abundance of selection, at least in our experience. So that is something to consider if you're relocating here as a young professional and you might be a little bit intimidated by the city or the cost of living in certain popular areas. Well, rest assured you have options like Elgin, options like Maynard to consider. Moving right along to number five on this list, we have Round Rock, Texas. And by God, you just can't escape Round Rock, right? If you're wanting early retirement places, Round Rock's got it. If you want amazing school districts, Round Rock's got it. If you want young professionals looking for their first home, Round Rock's got it. It's, it's really this suburban destination, if you will, in the greater Austin area that people like to flock to when they don't want to live in the city. Round Rock has that reputation. I believe it has maybe 110,000 people. So it's almost like Round Rock is its own city per se, even though it maintains a very suburban feel. Now, what's appealing about Round Rock is that compared to say Georgetown, it is going to have a younger demographic of early to mid thirties. And you can imagine what brings that demographic and statistic down is a number of people even in their twenties flocking there as well. So it's pretty much just 
Round Rock, Texas. It has a little bit of everything. And what people like about Round Rock as well is there is no shortage of things to do. It is the hub, as I mentioned, of suburbia, even though yes, technically it is its own city, but you're going to have the Round Rock Outlet Mall. You're going to have Ikea. You're going to have the largest indoor water park in the country. You're going to have bars. You're going to have Dell Diamond. So it has its own downtown as well. So too many things to list in this video. I could make it another hour longer just talking about Round Rock. So just keep that in mind. If you want an abundance of things to do, check it out. And of course, its median is going to be right around $460,000 with about a proximity of maybe 30 minutes to downtown. Since Round Rock is so large, you could be maybe 20 something minutes away from the city, or you could be maybe 40 minutes away, depending on where in Round Rock you live. Up next at number four, we've got Wimberley, Texas. And this is a bit of a contrast compared to Round Rock in the sense that pretty much everyone who's looking into the greater Austin area knows about Round Rock. It is these, this destination, right? And then you've got a place like Wimberley, where even a lot of people in real estate might be like, wait, 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 where is that? So to answer the question, Wimberley, Texas is going to be south of Austin, Texas. So if you're heading out of Austin, Texas, going south, you're going to hit places like Buda, San Marcos, Kyle, and one of these places places is called Wimberley. Now, being a little bit west of Kyle, Texas, Wimberley is unfortunately going to be on average between 40 and 50 minutes from downtown Austin. So already, if you're prioritizing a commute per se, Wimberley might not be for you. However, Wimberley is going to have an abundance of amenities, especially for a place that pretty much really flies under the radar. You're going to have a decent art scene, which I think is really cool. You're going to have very big lots as well. You're going to have farmer's markets in Wimberley. So for young professionals, it is quite appealing. The only thing that might work against it is a lot of young professionals, generally speaking, only have so much money to work with. And the median home price in Wimberley, Texas is going to be right around half a million dollars. And again, what warrants that is its amenities and things to do and its art scene and its youthful energy, if you will. But again, it's coming a little bit at a price. It's not going to be one of the most expensive places in the greater Austin area, obviously, but it's not going to be one of these places that's 315 on average or 325. You pay for what you get. And if you can afford it, it might be the perfect place for you. But for many of the aforementioned reasons, it might not be. Now, real quickly, before we move on to the final three places on this list, go ahead and comment down below with any opinions or questions for us to get involved in. If we've been providing any value for you as well, consider liking the video. Remember to subscribe and lastly, share this with anyone you know who's wanting to learn more about living in Austin, Texas. All right, coming in at number three on this list is going to be Jonestown, Texas. Now, this is going to be like living for young professionals, at least in our opinion. So most commonly, if you're looking at the greater Austin area and you're wanting to be close enough to the lake, you're looking at probably Lakeway, Texas, which is essentially the hill country, very luxurious near the West Lake Hills, near Bee Cave. Or you're also looking at Lago Vista, which is the North shore of Lake Travis. It's going to be a little bit more affordable, but still a little bit on the pricey side, especially if you're wanting something very close to the water. And then you've got your Georgetowns with Lake Georgetown and things of that nature. So with Jonestown, Jonestown is the place that comes a little bit before Lago Vista if you're heading west from that Cedar Park area. And Jonestown is going to be really cool because it also kind of flies under the radar, if you will, in terms of places in the greater Austin area. And in this lake town, you're going to find really what you can expect from any lake town. Close proximity to the water if you want to go kayaking, paddle boarding. There's even hiking options in Jonestown. You've got a lot of foodie spots, trendy places for young professionals as well. And something I like about Jonestown in addition to that is its median home price is going to be right around $450,000, which is comparable to Round Rock, which is comparable to Georgetown, comparable to Cedar Park, but you're so close to the water. It's like so many people don't even don't even realize it exists. And another thing is that from downtown Austin, you're only looking at about 30 to 40 minutes, which yes, is, is not a super short distance, but compared to these other places that are similarly priced that are not close to the water, it might be a steal, especially if you're maybe looking at the tech corridor of North Austin as well. That drive is going to be closer to 25 to 35 minutes. So, you know, it has its, it has its benefits, it has its drawbacks, but if you're someone who would like to be close enough to water, but you think, well, I'm a young professional, not making enough to afford all of that luxury, keep an eye out for Jonestown. It could be a decent enough option. All right, coming in at number two, for young professionals in the greater Austin area, we have San Marcos, Texas. And I'm excited to talk about San Marcos, Texas, because it really 
as well doesn't get a whole lot of spotlight in regards to the round rocks of the world and the Westlake Hills. So what I like about San Marcos is, in my opinion, it's kind of like a baby round rock or like a mini round rock. It's not going to be quite as large or as populated or quite as many things to do, but if you were to dwarf Round Rock or have like a pocket Round Rock, that is essentially San Marcos. And on average, demographically speaking, statistically speaking, it is going to be younger than Round Rock, Texas. So what's interesting about San Marcos is that it is uh, pretty much the halfway point from Austin to San Antonio, if you're heading south out of the city. Another thing about San Marcos is that it is home to Texas State University. So when I say it's younger, <laughs> It's not like the whole population is college students, but a lot of people who've graduated and live there and people into their late 20s and early 30s, maybe wanting to start a family or maybe not quite there yet, but it is going to be a nice place with decent things to do. So San Marcos has its own outlet mall. It has vinyl record stores, which for me would be paradise, right? You've also got tubing down the river and things like that. Fun things to do, outdoorsy things to do, but combined with boutique shops and things that really could appeal to our generation and younger professionals in general. Lastly, on the subject of San Marcos, Texas, you're looking at a median home price of only $380,000. And of course, if you're looking at Houston, San Antonio, or Dallas, only 380 might be like, wait, what? 380 is already kind of average. Well, in Austin, Texas, 380 is considered cheap. So this is going to be one of those options that is below the $400,000 mark on average. And yet it's not like it's a place that has nothing to do or a super rural place either. This is a very credible, intriguing, appealing place, at least in my opinion, that is very competitively priced. So keep that in mind, all as well being between 30 and 40 minutes from downtown Austin, which is right on par for a lot of the places on this list. All right, now coming in finally at number one for young professionals in the greater Austin area, we have Buda, Texas. And the reason we chose Buda as number one on this list is because it really is the all around best of not just both worlds, but all worlds. If you're factoring in things to do, proximity to downtown Austin and relative affordability. So for those of you who don't know, if you are heading south, leaving the city of Austin, Texas, the very first place you encounter is Buda, Texas. Now what's interesting is that Buda, Texas, being so close to downtown Austin, which I'll get to in just a moment, dubs itself as being the outdoor capital, right? The outdoor capital of Texas, of the greater Austin area. It's going to have a Cabela's. I'm not sure if you know what a Cabela's is, but it's like a hunting superstore. And But at the same time, because of its proximity to the city, it's not necessarily a hick town either. It just prides itself on having a lot of things to do that are nature-based, similarly with the homes as well being big lots and things of that nature, pun intended. Another cool thing about Buda, Texas is that it does maintain this small town feel, this very laid back feel. And there is, in my experience, spending time in Buda, Texas, a real sense of community as opposed to something like a city where everyone's just too busy doing their own thing. Buda is a nice change of pace. But what entices me the most about Buda, Texas, if I were considering it as a young professional, is the fact that it's only between 20 and 30 minutes max from downtown Austin. So if you are a commuter, that is <laughs> like, a, like a winning lottery ticket where you don't have to be stuck in the mess of the city, but you're literally that close. Or even if you're working from home or you're not going to be commuting to downtown Austin, if you wanna dabble in downtown and partake in all the things that Austin, Texas hangs its hat on having, you're again, only 20 to 30 minutes from the city. Lastly, on the subject of Buda, its median home price is going to be right around $400,000, which yes, is a little bit more expensive than some of the places on this list, but significantly cheaper than a lot of the places in the greater Austin area. So with all that in mind, and you've got your things to do, you've got your summer moon coffee house, you've got your different bars, you've got your own things to do in Buda, for a whole package, it is quite enticing, especially for our generation and for young professionals. So there you have it at number one, Buda, Texas. And again, I do realize we really just breeze through a lot of those places for the sake of making a video that isn't too long. But rest assured on our channel, we do have a number of longer videos dedicated specifically to these different towns and suburbs. So feel free to check that out as well. And again, I'll mention our ordering of this list is just based on a mixture of what we felt was relevant for young professionals seeking the right place for them in the greater Austin area. But again, don't take the ordering 
too seriously, it's open to interpretation. We're just wanting to help you arrive at your own conclusion and find the right place for you to plant your roots. Helping people find that perfect place, making that relocation process as smooth as possible is what we do, but you've got to reach out to us. So whether you're nine days away or 90, again, reach out to our team, whether you shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day, we've got your back when moving to Austin, Texas. Again, we put out tons of new content every week about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad, so consider subscribing if you haven't, and ring the little bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. Comment down below, consider liking if we've been providing any value for you, share it with anyone you know wanting to learn more about living in Austin, Texas, and until the next one, you guys, my name is Frank, and we will absolutely catch you later.